Oh, I am so glad that Eve came to her senses and finally decided to help me win Sam back. Oh. <laughs> I'll never live down the humiliation of being named Captain of the Lobster Shack. Oh, well, Julie and I think it was quite apropos. Like a many a lobster, you should be hot water with Alice. Speaking of hot, it's time. You're under the bargain. Bargain? What bargain? That if I suffered through dinner at the lobster shack, you'd share a night of passion with me. Well, if it's passion you want, mm. then I suggest you enlist your first mate. I noticed you couldn't keep your eyes off of Eve at the restaurant. I wasn't leering at Eve Russell. It was a mere coincidence that she wound up being named my first mate in that ridiculous drawing. Whatever you say, Julian. I no more gawked at Eve Russell tonight than I had an affair with her. The proof of which was supposedly in some bird statue that she pursued like Pizarro in search of Inca gold. Well, my search has ended. Ah, oh, poor Ivy. You know, if you really want to find something on me, I have a, a good place for you to start. Why don't we go upstairs? I guarantee a wonderful night for both of us. I would never describe anything that happened between the two of us as wonderful, Julian. No, I think you're forgetting that night in Rio when we played Caterpillar in the Rose on the balcony of our hotel suite, no less. You were in full bloom that night, my darling. I saw your eyes sparkle like diamonds in your skin, glisten like morning dew. I can take you back to that blissful night and the ecstasy we shared. Yes. Let this loving caterpillar explore every inch of you, my beautiful rose. Oh, what is it? I did what you said. Now, why won't you deliver on your promise? Because I just remembered, Julian, I loathe bugs. So, your little caterpillar is going to have to find another rose to explore. We had a deal. Well, it's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Well, then what's your excuse? Look in the mirror, you'll see. I'll have another drink. Why is this expensive pillow stuffed into this drawer? <sighs> Give me the pillow, Julian. Oh, no. Why so desperate? Don't make me do this, Ivy. Give me those pictures. No. I can't do that. I know I heard a gun go off. So why don't you tell me what happened? It is the silliest mistake. I, um, I was looking for something in Julian's desk. I found his gun, and I thought it was far too dangerous to just leave it lying there, so I decided to put it someplace more safe, and, um, it went off. It went off? Yes, yes, look. Oh. Luckily, um, there was no one else in the room, and the only thing I managed to hit was a pillow. <laughs> there's pillow talk, and then there's pillow talk. What are you hiding from me, my sweet? Just give me the pillow, Julian. Why? Why that desperate look in your eye? Just give me the damn pillow, Julian! Oh, the... Bullet hole! How the hell did this happen? I want an answer. I want it now. I'm waiting for your answer. How did this pillow get a bullet hole? Well, obviously, the night you took a shot at me thinking it was TC, you'd come to kill you. 
Mm, this pillow was on the sofa. The shot I fired went in a different direction, shattering the liquor decanter. Ricochet? Say it again like you mean it. Well, what other possible explanation could there be, Julian? As far as I know, you're the only gun-toting Freddy cat who's shot up the living room lately. I'm not buying your explanation, but I know it's the only one I'm going to get. You've been up to something these past few months. Something you're determined to keep a secret. Maybe you'll open up for me after a night of passion. I'm not sleeping with you tonight or any other night. We had a bargain, damn it. If you're so desperate for comfort, Julian, I suggest you take a bottle of this sherry you're so fond of and go to the library. I'm going upstairs and I don't want to be disturbed. I wouldn't dream of it, even if the house were on fire. Oh, Julian. If you knew what I had on you and your first mate, I don't think you would be so arrogant. Yes, Eve tried and failed. And now I'm calling the shots. So soon Sam is going to be in my arms again. Why wait? <laughs> oh, love is in the air. I can feel it. And with Eve's help, I'll be in Sam's arms before the jasmine blooms. <laughs> certainly hope she's not busy. We have a lot of work to do. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, Eve. It's Ivy, your new best friend. I've been thinking about our recent alliance, and I decided we should meet and discuss what happens next. I agree. The sooner, the better. I have something to tell you. Something important. Things have changed since we last spoke. 